For this WMER 2 News Update, I'm Kelly Swoop. The murder of a popular Catonsville community figure is closer to closure, according to police tonight. Three people were arrested in Jordan Taylor's murder. They haven't given out a whole lot of details, but did say that Aaron Butler, Dante Holdclaw, and Elise Frazier are charged with murder. Police are still looking for this man, Khalil Madden. There is a $5,000 reward from the ATF for information leading to an arrest. You can send any tips that you may have to 1-800-ATF-GUNS. Taylor was shot and killed in his home in November of 2019 during a home invasion. He was best known as Coach Jordan, a title he proudly wore in his work at the Catonsville YMCA. Now to Annapolis, a key bill at the center of a $4 billion education plan is now law. The state Senate overrode Governor Larry Hogan's veto on a bill to tax digital ad sales as well as to increase the sales tax on e-cigarettes and tobacco products. That money will fuel the blueprint, blueprint rather, for Maryland's future, also known as the Curran Commission Plan. That plan has the state spending $4 billion over the next decade to improve everything from expansion of full-day pre-K for low-income children to teacher pay raises. Governor Hogan had vetoed the tax hike, saying the state couldn't afford it, especially during a pandemic. He expanded his disapproval in a video that he tweeted out. It has no funding mechanism, no real accountability measures, and can't guarantee real results for our kids. It's all about taxes and no results. This Dr. Britt Kerwin story. shared his thoughts as well as on the override, saying, quote, with this action, Maryland is now on track to develop a school system that will be the envy of the nation and as good as any in the world. Another cold day on tap uh, for your Saturday here, starting off with cloudy skies, temperatures struggling to get into the 30s. I don't really think lots of locations get there. And on top of that, we have moisture moving in. And with the mid-levels being a bit warm, I'm expecting some wintry mix, uh, sleet and freezing rain uh, possible in the afternoon and likely as we head into tomorrow evening, uh, looking at about a tenth of an inch possible uh, for areas along and west of I-95. And then if you're south and east, looks like you have a chance of seeing up to a quarter of an inch that could cause some power line issues and that also could do some tree damage. So make sure you're using uh, caution as you're heading on the roadways on Saturday. That lingers into the start of your Valentine's Day and another system moving in on Monday and Tuesday. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com all day for updates on top stories and breaking news and also for news and weather while you're on the go. Don't forget to download the WMER2 News app in the App Store. You can watch our live radar and get breaking news sent straight to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Swoop. This WMER2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.